This program was made possible by a generous donation from Twin Star Credit Union. And now it's time for Oli's favorite game show. It's What's Their Deal? The game where contestants try to guess whether someone is a state worker, greener, or homeless person. And here's our host, Wink Knowingly. Thank you so much for joining us again for Olympia's favorite game show. Now, let's get to know our contestants. Contestant number one, it says here that you're a stay-at-home mom who loves Pinterest and homeschooling your kids. What do you think will give you the edge in tonight's game? Hey, Karen, mom's on TV. Now go to bed. Wink, I think being a stay-at-home mom with no college education, I've got a good idea of what the people in town do for a living. Okay, I guess we'll see. And contestant number two, it says here that uh, you're a lifelong member of the NRA and drive a really big truck. Any other things that might make you a good judge of character? Yeah, well, Wink is uh, someone who lives alone in the woods. I've been judging people all my life, so I think I have got a real edge at this game. And contestant number three, it says here that you're a local middle school teacher and your hobbies include uh, volunteering and running 5Ks. Anything else you would like to share with the audience at home? Love the show, Wink. I'm just happy to be here. So you've actually seen the show before? <laughs> yep, watch it every week. Can't wait to play. Well then, since you know how the game works, uh, let's start with you. Contestant number one, contestant number three, is this uh, person a state worker, an evergreen student, or a homeless person? Uh, wink, I'm gonna go with homeless. And what led you to make that choice? Ah, uh, let's see, he's wearing dirty clothes, carrying a backpack, doesn't look like he's washed his hair in a while. Yeah, I'm going with vagrant, definitely homeless. <laughs> Oh no, that is incorrect. He actually works for the Department of Natural Resources. That's a big zero for contestant number three. Now let's see if contestant number two can do any better. Contestant number two, is this person a state worker, evergreen student, or homeless? Oh yeah, she's definitely a greener. Well, with the, the cell phone and backpack. Oh yeah, she is definitely the type of girl I'd probably hit on down at the Clipper on karaoke night. Oh, that is incorrect. She actually is one of our homeless high school students. And I'm being informed that there is an officer waiting to speak to contestant number two right after the show. Contestant number one, take a look at this next photo and uh, tell me, is this a state worker, an evergreen student, or someone who is homeless? Uh, let's see, he's got a jacket on, but it's layered over an old hoodie. He's wearing a beanie and it looks like he hasn't washed his hair in a while. Contestant number one, um, we need an answer. Uh, he's wearing a satchel, but it looks pretty old. Uh, why is this so hard? Final seconds. Uh, I don't know, he's kind of professional looking. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was time. And it actually says here that any of the answers would have been correct. This man actually works for the, for the state, but because of a jumbo loan that was beyond his budget, he is currently homeless and living out of his car. Also, he is apparently a graduate of the Evergreen State College. Who knew you could be all three? When we come back, we'll see if our contestants can do any better in the speed round of What's Their Deal? Choose your side. 
check if her mic's on real quick up at the house. <laughs> is her mic on? This Can you the... hear me talk? Give us a confirmation. I'll take that as a yes. Hi, folks. Ah. <laughs> yes. We are thrilled to have you. Hi, I am Sarah Jo Geiger, and you are watching Live at Five, a live public access television show featuring talent from across the Thurston County area. You know, it has always been a dream of mine to host this show. I grew up watching it as a kid, and now I'm the host. Can you believe it? <laughs> This program has been organized by TC Media and Oli Film, but neither organization is responsible for the content, okay? Keep that in your mind up here. So, the content, scripts, performances, roll-in videos, etc., were crowdsourced from the citizens of Olympia, Washington, yourselves. There you go. And the surrounding areas. We're live right now on Xfinity channels 22 and 77. Unfortunately, you do have to have Xfinity to watch it, so text your family and friends and tell them to tune in right now! <laughs> cool. Uh. This is a moment where I want to see those phones. I'm not kidding. Go ahead and text them. Or they can live stream. They can live stream it, I think, on tcmedia.org. All right, folks. Okay, I, I, we have such a beautiful, lovely live audience today. Um, I want to hear, give me some noise if you're from Lacey. That makes sense. Everyone in Lacey is a doctor. People are depending on you. Stay at your job, okay? Don't come here. Um, all right, uh, make some noise if you're from Tumwater. <laughs> Go T-Birds, hometown pride. All right, all right, all right, now the big one. The favorite, okay. Make some noise if you're from Olympia. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we love Olympia so much, but you know, I mean, I'm from Tumwater, so every time I tell people where I'm from, I say I'm from Washington, and they say, oh, DC's lovely this time of year. <laughs> I know, I know. And then I say, no, Washington State, and they're like, oh, so Seattle. And then I'm like, no, the capital. And they're like, Olympia? And I just, yeah, 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 that's fine. You don't know what Tumwater is. All right, um, so folks, we are live on Xfinity right now. Um, who loves Comcast? Okay, yeah, who loves all the emails from Comcast? <laughs> They're so repetitive. It's the same information every time. Let's do an old jokey thing from like old monologues, right? I'm going to say something, and then I want you to say, how stupid are they? Okay, let's practice. Um, Xfinity's so stupid. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry, I'm James. sorry. That's, that, 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 James, that's, hey, that's, that's not okay. Come on, right, uh, look, the, uh, the, I was the, just the, getting them warmed up, James. Yeah, that was great. The energy was great, but Thank then you. what you said about Xfinity, that is not okay. That okay. is uh, not okay. Please stop the cable cast. Uh, Jimmy, did they, did they cut the feed? That'd be ideal don't, if they don't could cut, cut the feed. feed. Come on, I was right on a roll. I'm sorry, folks, well. this is Jimmy, not, it, this is not the on the teleprompter. The, the host has gone rogue. Okay. He's gone rogue. You know what? It just rogue, says, James, vamp with the audience, okay? And why can't I say what I want to say? <laughs> hey! Oh, uh, what? You, Xfinity produce, it provides the station's funding, okay? Uh, so, 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 I mean, the, the channels, okay, okay, all that okay. situation. You know what, James? Yeah? Here's the truth. Actually, the cities of Olympia, Lacey, Tumwater, and Thurston County provide the funding for these channels, and Xfinity is contractually obligated to provide the channels. Power to the people! Thank you. They, they confirmed that. You're, you're and right. this you're... is public access, honey, okay? You can't censor me. Get this network executive out of here. Go take a walk. Great! Okay, yeah, okay, all right, I'm gone. He's a great guy, he's a great guy. <laughs> seriousness, we do really love Xfinity and thank them for having a good sense of humor. So go visit right. them next to the target and sign Sorry. up for cable service oops, if you oops, don't oops. already have it. A percentage of your cable bill helps fund this public access channel and it's the only way to watch live at five. You can't get this on satellite and it's not on Netflix either just yet. We have a great show for you so sit back, relax, enjoy the premiere of Oli Film Short The Perfect Night filmed right here in TC Media Studio A.
Are you serious about this? Yes. You mean to tell me I'd be better off without her? That's right. Hold on, buddy. You mean to say that my lovely little sweet cakes of a housewife who cooks me a four-course roast chicken dinner every- Chicken dinner? Just wait. Just, just wait. You sit down at that next four-course dinner of yours, you try to take a stab at that chicken? Well, Sally Sue might try to take a stab at you. What are you saying? That my precious porcelain doll-faced angel would hurt me? <laughs> she wouldn't hurt a fly. She's the picture of domestic perfection. She takes my feet into her lap every night and rub my little toesies. Every single one. And if you catch her on a good mood and a lovely Sunday afternoon, boy, she does pack a mean picnic. <gasps> a picnic? Packed juicy grapes, canned sardines, dried oranges, and my favorite, fresh cottage cheese on a thick slice of Gruyere. I think we're getting a little, a little bit ahead of ourselves here. Now just who do you think you are to walk yourself in here telling me to leave my wife with the same blind and bold audacity I've only come across once in my life when a pair of religious men greeted me at the doorway of this club and told me Merry Christmas when I am clearly a saxophone player and so therefore clearly not religious in any form and so therefore clearly do not appreciate a Merry Christmas after a long night of playing the saxophone and being non-religious. So, are all saxophone players non-religious? Absolutely. Well, that's, that's a little bit besides the point, right? I mean... Right, right. We were talking about my wife. My Sally Sue. The olive in my martini glass. The reed in my saxophone. The, the cottage cheese on my gruyere. And our love will never run out. Unlike this coupon. <gasps> coupon! Ladies and gentlemen, there are many dangers in this world, and I'd like to sing you a song about the deadliest of them all. Marrying Sally Sue, it's what all the guys want to do. But when they get what they crave, they end up in the grave. Oh, you know it's true. Marrying Sally Sue. Forget everything that you thought you knew Because she'll knock you down You'll end up in the ground Sally Sue, I have something to tell you Are you a lover? Are you a foe? The beating of my heart is increasing in tempo You say if you love someone, let them go But living without you is like life without a rainbow You're mine Soulmate. Hello, darling. You make it hard to concentrate. From our first date, I look past your attempts to assassinate. Running through fields of flowers, shopping for new lipsticks for hours. Loud leaves, April showers. Any date will do just as long as it's ours. Marry me, Sally Sue. Will you marry me, Sally, Sally Sue? Sue? I'm not Sue. leaving. I'll Sue. never call it quits. Sally Sue. Marry me, Sue. marry me, Sally Sue. Sally I want to be with Sue. you and Mr. Sue. Snicker Fritz. Sally Sue. Sweetest, Sue. please don't walk away. Sally I don't Sue. always know the Sue. right thing to say. Sally Sue. Forget the coupon. Sue. Don't care what I pay. Sally I'll make sure Sue. everything Sue. is perfect Sue. for your perfect day.
Barista made my latte with cow's milk. Do you know Ooh. humans are the only mammals that drink another mammal's milk? Yuck. Mm. Yes, well, what do we always say? Never, Never apologize. apologize. That's right. Now, who would like to start us off? Oh, oh. No, no need to raise your hand, Elbright. Just oh. jump right in there like you own the place. Sorry. Uh, Good evening, everyone, and, and welcome to the uh, welcome to the chapter, then welcome to the Never Say You're Sorry, Never Volunteer chapter of Bureaucrats Anonymous. My name is Elright, and I am a bureaucrat. Hello, Elright. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, Elright. Now, why are we all here? We, we are overachievers. We, we make our colleagues look bad. When our colleagues look bad, we've done bad. We are bad. But, but together, we can be better at being worse. Yes, good. And Samantha has given me the perfect segue for today's topic. Oh. Tardiness is the perfect way to make punctual people look better. Yeah. Now, who wants to go first? I am Amanda, and I am an overachiever. Hi, Amanda. I am a social media information regurgitation know-it-all smirk. <laughs> and recently, I was posting the... Ah. Tom, oh. I thought we agreed no air horn this week. We have newcomers. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, I start. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> this week I posted the wrong dates for upcoming forums. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. Who's next? Uh, hi, I'm Terrence. Hi, hi Terrence. Terrence. I'm the under, under, understudy to the regional director, turd. Twice this week, I didn't charge my phone. Missed important meetings. <laughs> Yay! I heard rumors of your failings. Well done. <laughs> we have reached the point in our meeting where we welcome our newcomers. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Samantha. <laughs> If you would please introduce yourself and, and tell us a little bit about how you could do worse. Okay, um, hi, I'm Samantha. Hi, hi Samantha. Samantha! I'm a community resource officer for parking enforcement, CROPE. Um, I set a record last week for the most tickets written in a month. You write too many tickets. What? You no, have an app that speaks the mirror. I don't, I don't. You target little old lady. Especially wealthy ones. You find Michaela Hoover five hundred dollars for parking in a oh, handicap. Oh, oh, oh. What? what do you have to say for yourself? Mm. Yeah, I was just doing my job. Yeah. 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 That is it. Oh, exactly. Samantha, very good. Always, always, always blame the job, but. Remember to stick, stick it to them. them. That is time to close. Higher power. Huh. Oh. 
Grant me the serenity to accept my exalted position. Courage to use that position to my advantage and the wisdom to keep my self-interest from my constituents. Amen! Couple holes and a 16 ounce Americano. Is that all today, sexy lady? Oh, I love the mustache, Klaus. It's violet. Oh, I remember you. Uh, you like? Most definitely. Uh, well, be sure to tell all your friends. I always do. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> Martha and Susan by Lucky Night. What can I get you ladies this fine evening? Same as last week? Yes. Thank you, Dylan. One's enough for the two of us. 16 ounce peppermint mocha. Oh, no peppermint. Extra chocolate. We're on our way to book club and I like to add a little schnapps. Oh, an extra whip. You think the other ladies will be in before book club? If not before, I'm sure they'll pop in after. They'll get to meet the new meat. Ooh, do tell. His name's Shane. Been doing coffee for years. Yes, but his last job was a beach shack out on the coast, so mostly just served flavored lemonade. Good looking guy, though. Take a look here. See if just you take like... him on the register. Unless you're worried he'll get all the attention. <laughs> take a look at that. Yummy. Oh, thank you. And one coffee. Thank Why, you. thank you for the tip, ladies. <laughs> Bye, Bye, boys. Oh, <laughs> They're fun. Hey, I'm scheduled to clock out at five, but I can stay later if you want me around while you're training. No, nah, I mean, it shouldn't be too busy. Even if all the book club gals come right at close. I can take care of it. Thank you for asking. Hey guys, is it gonna be the three of us in here? Tight hey, squeeze. Uh, Shane? That's me, Shane. Shaney T. Uh, <laughs> right, uh. Um... Today's scheduled to be my first day. Training. We emailed this morning. Put these on and wash your hands. And... Uh, Dylan, I need your help real quick, right out in uh, storage. <laughs> Be right back. Shane's a girl. Oh, look, you have eyes. Hi there, be right with you. Hi, ladies. What can I get going for you this evening? Where's, Where's Dylan? Dylan? What's going on? I'm Shane, the new hire. You know what? We're actually running behind for our book club. Yeah, yeah. We gotta go. Let's get we don't have time. Oh. Huh. Ugh. Shoot. Did they leave? Uh, was that the book club crew? Uh, that would make sense. Oh, crap, that was Millie and the gang. I tried to help them, but they said they were running late. Shane, <laughs> listen, this stand is called 
Java boys, okay? Let me make you a cup of coffee. It's not just about the coffee. The customers, they come here for this. Exactly, all right? The thrill of the chase, the aesthetic pleasure of seeing us half naked. The men. Yeah, they don't come here for the This is not going to change my mind, okay? I want that established at the outset. Whoa, that's pretty good, actually. Try that. That might be the best cup of coffee I've had my entire life. There's no grounds. What? No grounds? What, you want me to be more like this? Hi there, new fella. Ain't you a cutie? You're hired. Sorry, I had a coffee break. And now let's take it over to the teens at our Vault News desk. Thank you, Sarah. And like I say, what a nice suit. Looks like you went to Nordstrom, said I can DIY this, and then apparently did your best. Ow. And with that, this is Vault News, and here are our top stories. Couple allegedly pulls knife on man and robs him of a sketchbook over a drawing. Police intend to release a sketch of the suspect, but that was also stolen by the suspect. Inner city transit to receive federal funding to renovate bus stops. This could mean new cup holders, USB ports, maybe even a recliner. Whatever the new addition, I'm excited to see them covered in graffiti and punk band stickers. The Thurston Chamber of Commerce is offering digital literacy classes to improve digital equity across the region. The classes are open to anyone, but you have to download an app make an account, have your password verified, reboot your computer, and then click on all of the images of traffic lights in order to register. <laughs> Some water officials are discussing making social media posts by council members a part of the city historical record. Hear that? That's the sound of the Tumwater City Council scrubbing their socials clean. <laughs> Tumwater Virtual Academy faces suspension from lack of students. The academy was originally given a warning, then a Saturday detention, but the suspension was the next inevitable step. My brother heard the same thing last week. A new grant for bridge graffiti in the homeless encampments along the I-5 freeway corridor was approved. Olympia supports its local artists, which is why each participant will receive $5, a spray paint can, and a voucher for free drink with purchase, and a lovely commemorative t-shirt made overseas. Summer is here, which means wildfire season is almost upon us, and Washingtonians gear up to celebrate with fairs and festivals. I actually don't mind the smoke, as long as the sun stays out. I just wish the gas mask my mom makes me wear didn't leave such a bad tan line on my face. <laughs> Olympia School District reports a budget deflict of $4 million, resulting in a reduced education plan. The plan includes the following. Science classes now taught by reruns of Bill Nye the Science Guy on VHS. What's a VHS? I don't know, I just read the teleprompter. <laughs> In other news, the cost of attending Evergreen State College might go up. This is why life experience and further education is not important anymore. With student loan forgivenesses just around the corner, the students we spoke to weren't concerned. Our journalists couldn't tell if this was out of ignorance or apathy. We asked one student who said, I don't know and I don't care. That's what I would have said. Olympia Free Jazz Festival runs July 12th through the 15th, a beloved community melting pot where musicians, grandparents, and guys who wear fedora hats with cargo shorts gather together to ask the same question. Is this song almost over? <laughs> Thurston's Go Green Yard Care program kicked off on April 10th. That means using less fertilizer, not painting the lawn green, Dad. Lake Fair Queen submissions are well underway. I, for one, haven't seen my sister in two months. The last time I saw her, she left her house in a vintage car waving goodbye. That's nice. <laughs> we all know the Lake Fair Queen is a figurehead and a symbol for the people, but the real power belongs to Lake Fair Prime Minister, whose traditional agenda has led to crying children, awful traffic, and fatigued parents. 
which is why I'm officially placing my bid to be Thurston County's new Prime Minister of Lake Fair. Oh God. My aggressive agenda will feature a platform of extra scoops of caramelized onions on every demo burger, an eradication of loose napkins on the ground at any given time, and the giant slide attraction will be greased every hour for maximum slide power. Hear ye, hear ye, lend me your elephant ears. With the power vested in me by God, Heritage Bank, the Redwood Casino, and American Pump and Electric, I hereby launch my campaign. <laughs> Yay. As Lake Fair gets underway, another popular festival, Capital Fest, has inspired a heated debate as to whether or not differently abled students should be allowed to participate in the scholarship pageant. I had a chance to attend the festival and talk with the students, as well as some of the attendees. We'll hear from them coming up next. I'm here at Capital Fest, where there's a flounder of controversy over pageant participant Madison Atargatis, who is disqualified by the Capital Fest committee. Here's what some people have to say about her involvement. I can't believe they lost funding over this. I just don't think she should be here. Which bathroom is she going to use anyway? Not mine. I mean, people like her, they don't even deserve rights. If I could, I'd take away the rights they currently have. Those are my rights. We'd have to provide accommodations. Who's gonna pay for that? Not me. If we let one in, we have to let them all in. What will she even use the scholarship for? A school of fish? It may be a stereotype, but stereotypes gotta come from somewhere. You know, her kind were originally called sirens, right? They may look fabulous, but they'll drag us all to our death, because that's what they do. How would we even get the smell out? I got a chance to talk to Madison about her disqualification. I was disqualified because they did not want to provide accommodations for me. Really? That's why? Landwalkers don't know what it's like to not have legs. I'm a fish out of water here. In Aberdeen and Seattle, they have a whole week's long celebration of mer people. But here, I'm not allowed to participate? My friend Starbuck never got this type of discrimination. I think Madison is beautiful. I wish I was a mermaid. Yeah, I think Madison is cool. I don't know what everyone else's problems are. Mermaids are cool. I love mermaids. Do you think they like cotton candy? I like cotton candy. Can I ride the scholarship? After I spent time with Madison and the other people here at Capital Fest, I spoke to one young person who had these words of wisdom to say. It doesn't matter what color you are, what pronouns you use, or whether you have skin or scales. I believe we can all be tied to one another. Can I go on the rides now? they made us sign a non-disclosure agreement for them to let us into this place. <laughs> Are you sure this is what you want to do with your time? Are you kidding me? I would sign my life away to eat a meal at this place. Do you know how long it took me to get on the waiting list? Hey, it's your money. I'm just saying, this ain't really my thing. Oh. <laughs> would either of you like some water? Is this the local artesian well water I've heard so much about? <laughs> no. This is illegally collected rainwater. It has been filtered through the building's rain gutters and aged in a plastic drum in the sun for 30 days. <laughs> it sounds exquisite! Please, pour away! <clears throat> no, thank you. Olympia, dear, please, uh, let her fill your glass. I'll drink it if you're not going to. Didn't you hear this is illegally collected rainwater? Why? 
I can't believe you're going to drink that. And I, I told you to call me Margo. <laughs> and I told you that tonight I'm going to call you Olympia. Mm -hmm. And do you remember why? Because where do you find Capital Lake? In Olympia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I still can't believe your last name is Lake and your parents named you Capital. Who does that? Rich people. Oh. That's rich. Ha! I may be mistaken, but I believe my guests are here to eat, not engage in idle chit chat. Oh, I... No, the correct response is yes, chef. Yes, chef. And are you ready for the meal of a lifetime, a culinary experience like no other? We haven't even seen a menu well, yet. We have no menu. Well, Mr. Lake, who is your guest this evening who obviously was not on the original invitation? Miss Washington. Ew. And does Miss Washington have a first name? Olympia. Oh, you don't look like Olympia Washington. <laughs> now, tonight's first course is symbolic of our area's Nisqually region. It's made from soft padding, non-crystallized glucose, plant pectin, beeswax, and resin scraped from the cocoon of the Kerialaka. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Did he say there was resin from a cocoon? Oh. This just looks like jelly beans cut in half. Did he mean like from a butterfly? He's just referring to the confectioner's glaze on the outside. Look at this plating. So simple, yet playful. You're not actually going to eat that, are you? Mm. Mm. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> the sweetness. I mean, and do I detect a hint of freshly cut grass? <laughs> You're actually mm. going to eat it. Mm. You couldn't tear it away from me if you tried. Oh. Are you going to eat yours? I have paid it. I have an incredible price for this meal. I mean, truly, it's a once in a lifetime experience. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I do believe that one is mud. Time for second course. Uh, ha! Yes, Chef! I see you're learning, Mr. Lake. Ha. There may be hope for you yet. Mm -hmm. Now, this next course may be more to Miss Washington's liking. A representation of all things Olympia. Enjoy. More, more jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> Waiter, oh. waiter. Yes? Tell the chef I'd like to send back my meal. I'm not happy with it. As you wish. What? Can I, can I, just, I want, ah. <laughs> you didn't have to send it back. We'll have eaten that. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's uh, beer, salt water, and coffee. <laughs> so refined, distilled yet, Delicate. Mm. This must be what Olympia tastes like. Mm. At this point, you'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> mm? Yes, chef! Oh. Yes, chef. Miss Washington, it has come to my attention that you are displeased with your meal. I am. <laughs> mm. Well, whoa. Do I detect a hint of rusty nail? Quite likely, the sous chef may have nicked himself a few times. Now, Miss Washington, what can I do to please you this evening? I would like a cheeseburger, and my name is Margot. Margot, what a fitting name. And if you want a cheeseburger, I suggest you go. To Eastside Big Tom's. They have exquisite cheeseburgers. Best around, actually. I think that's a marvelous idea. And now, Mr. Lake, I believe it is time for your final course. Backyard campout with a hint of arsenic. Sounds delightful. I can't wait. Come with me. Do you believe in Bigfoot? Yes. And why do you believe? Uh, because why not? I think there's something going on. Yes, I think they should be able to run for president. 
Have you ever seen a Sasquatch? Yeah, yeah, I think I think I might be one. Well, I haven't, but my Kentucky cousin, uh, Chris, Chris has, yeah. Weirdly enough, didn't have any auto, uh, like, vocal things, just hit sticks on the trees, so it was uh, no vocal sounds. What do you think a Sasquatch would sound like? Like... <gasps> These creatures, <laughs> these beings, are finally coming out of the woods and they have revealed to us an ancient tradition that has been going on for thousands of years and that we've kind of been participating in. Mm. The reason they have been so elusive for so long is because our first ancestors and their first ancestors struck a deal. The Sasquatch would go live deep in the woods and hide while our ancestors would go out and search for them. Once we found them, then we would switch. And at some point in our history, we just sort of forgot to look. So now that the Sasquatch have been found, it's our turn to hide. That's absolutely insane. We can't expect us to uproot our lives and go live in the woods. He says, suck it up and go play. Well, what if we refuse to play? Yeah. 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 yeah! yeah! I like that. Yeah. Whoa! Oh. Then Sasquatch will kill us all. And apparently, the government ain't waging war with Sasquatch. Please! No, no, no. Oh, That's not happening! No, no, no. 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 Are they even looking for us? And that is all for the very first episode of Live at Five. I am thrilled to announce the next Live at Five will be, drum roll please. <laughs> December 2nd, 2023, Mark and Calders, baby! <laughs> Community source sketch comedy is coming back. Live at Five would like to acknowledge the indigenous people who have stewarded the land since the immemorable and who since time in imme immemor imme <laughs> since time before memory began and who still inhabit the area today the stutch s 
the Band of Indigenous People of the Squaxin Island Tribe. Thank you. We would like to thank our headline sponsor, Twin, Twin Star Credit Union. Special thanks to TC Media, Oli Film, our man in charge, Robert Cam, and theater artists. Thank you, Robert. And theater artist Olympia, also Mod Pizza and Blue Heron Bakery for feeding our crew. Remember, this studio is a place where you too can make your own television show. So go to tcmedia.org and take their classes so you can get trained and certified. If you would like to be involved with the next episode of Live at Five, send an email to live at five at tcmedia.org. Thanks so much for wa watching. Good night. We will see you at the farmer's market. Come on out. Come on out, folks. something different, looking for something new, come alive with live and fly with, find out what we do, live and fly, always something different, live and fly, always something new. Looking for what's happened, looking for somewhere to go. This program was made possible by a generous donation from Twin Star Credit Union.